and we finance Friday. Woo! It's only been, I don't know how many, and I'm finally being able to say this without tripping over the words. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have you, but I'm proud of myself. So anyways, we have another fun exercise. Uh, once again, no worksheets this time around. So uh, no need to go and uh, download anything or print anything off. Um, however, to do this, you really want to sit down with either a sheet of blank paper or preferably like a poster board. And go ahead and put it right in the middle of the table. Have the whole family sit around. You can set aside a block of time. Um, maybe make it for like a, I mean, of course it's Friday, right? So, I mean, this could be like a fun Friday night, Saturday night exercise where uh, maybe you bring out some some fun family foods and, uh, you know, and, and really, you know, almost like a family game night, except you're sitting around a piece of paper. How about that? So what you want to do is once you have the whole family sitting around the table, you want to choose a date. And you can kind of choose it at random. You could make it for a year out, five years out. I mean, it's better if you go a little bit further out, like five years or so. Um, but you want to make sure that it's a date, uh, you know, front of the future, but not too far, where you guys are can can envision yourself all being together. And even if you have some older teens who are getting ready to go off to college or make their way out to the world, you know, you can choose. You can say, okay, this is going to be a family vacation at some point in the future. So write down the date. You know, the actual date, whether, um, you know, it doesn't have to be necessary like, you know, January 21st or January 22nd. It could be, um, you know, in August or whatever, you know, so just kind of play with that and figure out, you know, if, if it's a special uh, a date that means something to you guys, whether or not, um, you know, maybe it's your anniversary date. And so you want all the kids there to celebrate with you or, um, you know, maybe. Uh, you know, it's a day that you know everyone will be out of school, whether they're in college or elementary school or high school, whatever the case might be, you know, whatever. And so choose your date. And then what you're going to do is have everyone go around the table and kind of throw out where they think they're going to, you know, what, what, what you guys are going to look like at that point on that date. So some things to get you started is, um, you know, where will you be? What location? You know, so kind of choose the location you guys are going to be at. Um, what will you all be doing? You know, what activities will you be working on? What, you know, are you going to the beach to relax? Are you going to go on a safari? Are you going to, uh, you know, go on a cruise? Um, you know, skiing in the Alps? Um, I think you could ski in the, actually you could ski in the Alps, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm much more likely to hike in the Alps than anything else, so not a skier. Um, which is funny because I live in the frozen tundra of upstate New York where I already have um, in the last two to three days, we've gotten about a foot and a half. So, you know, just a dusting. Um, anyways, so, uh, you know, so what are you guys going to be doing? What activities will you be participating in? Uh, what will you look like, you know, physically? Um, obviously, if you some little ones are going to be a lot taller. And, you know, what color will their hair be? What, what do you think their clothes are going to be? You know, if they have any ideas at all of, you know, what they're physically going to look like. Do they think they'll have long hair, short hair, uh, you know? whatever um including the parents so it could be no hair <laughs> um so yeah so go ahead and you know kind of kind of you know have fun with it play with it um you know what kind of cars are you going to be driving are you going to drive to this place are you going to fly um you know uh you know will you be dining out in restaurants will you have a private chef will you um you know, I don't know. Like I said, the, the sky's the limit. I am not the most creative person in the world. That's why I'm an accountant. <laughs> but, um, you know, just have fun with it and go around and, and let everyone have a turn. You guys will kind of play off each other. Once you guys get this ball rolling, it's going to take on a life of its own. And um, from there, you can really have just a lot of fun. And, um, you know, and then the other thing, if you want to take it a step further, after you guys have gone through and kind of, you know, drawn this this future family portrait for the specific date and time um it would be super cool is when that time comes if you actually like recreate that photo and make it um you know um an actual physical um thing that'd be like oh my gosh way too amazing um and uh the other thing you can do too if you want to take this a step further is um you know to discuss ways you can actually get there you know whether it's through education you know, maybe depending on what you're doing, maybe you need um, a little more specialized training. Like if you want to go scuba diving or, um, you know, mountain climbing, you might need uh, some training for that. Um, perhaps you need to save or invest to have 
more funds available for this, uh, you know, this future trip. I'm not even going to say dream trip because it could just be a regular vacation. It could just be a, you know, a family reunion. It could be, you know, it could be something, um, you know, it doesn't have to be like an all out, um, you know, stay in a castle and have a chef and, and uh, go yachting on a mega yacht in, in the, in, in Monaco or anything like that. It doesn't have to be anything along those lines. So, you know, it could just be an every, you know, a typical family vacation, but just something in the future that you guys see yourselves doing. And I suppose really, if you want to, it even could be in your own house. You know, nobody says it has to be at another location. It's just sometimes um, that's a little more fun to play with. <laughs> but it could be maybe you guys decide as a family that you want it to be, you know, a new house or your current house and um, you're doing doing things there. So that's that's completely uh, up to you guys, however you want to do it. And um, the other thing too, is that, you know, ways to finance this, um, you know, perhaps you have some talents that you can monetize. So if you have kids who are, you know, good at uh, programming or social media, or, um, you know, have entre that entrepreneurial spirit, um, you know, maybe there's something the arts and crafts, whatever, you know, maybe there's some things that they can do, uh, you know, to create something that they can sell and use those funds towards whatever it is you see in the future. Um, so lots of, uh, you know, ideas there, lots of, you know, wide open spaces for creativity to, to roam wild. And the deeper thing with this week's, you know, it sounds like just a fun little exercise, but really um, in keeping with this week's theme, which was all about visualization, taking bold action, um, is that you have to be able to see something in your mind before you can make it reality. And one thing that tends to happen, I mean, children are great for this. Children are so creative. They come up with all sorts of, uh, you know, wonderful, amazing, crazy ideas. Um, you know, they don't know the word impossible um, until it gets taught out of them, you know, by well-meaning adults. And so it's nice that they're kids too, unfortunately, that have heard it from well-meaning adults. <laughs> um, you know, so this is a, a nice way to be able to encourage, um, you know, that that thought process, that visualization, that, uh, you know, seeing it in your mind before you see it in reality. Um, that is so important and so vital. And um, all of the great inventors of, of our, our time and previous times, they've all had that where they could see it in their mind. Um, no matter, even when other people could not see it, you know, and they, and they figured out ways to bring it to reality. And so really that is a very important skill for your children to have. And, you know, as parents, us too, um, you know, but that's, that's a great skill for them to have, uh, so that, you know, they do think outside the box and really the more, you know, the days of going to work in a factory and just doing what you're told to do or doing what your father did or your mother did just because they did it. You know, these days are long, long, long gone. You know, now the sky's the limit. And really the people who are, uh, you know, really um, seeing the the benefit of of uh, their talents and are the ones that, you know, take that bold action, who can uh, see something and bring it to life. And so that's really what this is deeper and more about is that, you know, we want to give our kids that little leg up um, to, to have this skill as they continue to develop and grow. So I really, really hope if you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, but I really, really cannot wait to see your future family uh, portrait or picture. Um, so please, you know, share it. You can either take a, you know, a picture of it and share it here or um, just, you know, just tell us a little bit about it. Um, you know, but please, please, please share with us. And I cannot wait to see what y'all come up with. So on that note, everyone have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.